Welcome back to The Index. My name is Megan, and I'm the senior editor for MongoDB's developer relations team. We have a ton of new content we published over the last month, so here's a quick recap. Ricardo published a complete guide on Medium on the MongoDB 8.0 upgrade. Get all the most important details you need to know before making the switch. We have another Medium article from Justin on the read, modify, write anti-pattern. He'll help you understand the pattern so that you can identify when and how the cycle may be used. Over on Dev, Tim published a tutorial on how to make a RAG application with Langchain 4J. For all of our Django people, we have a few tutorials from Anaya that you'll love. Learn about the key benefits of using a NoSQL database in Django development. Learn how to use MongoDB in an intro Django project. And check out this Django MongoDB backend quick start. Here on YouTube, follow along as Tim shows you how to create, deploy, and prepare MongoDB Atlas clusters for AI workloads using Terraform. Asawari will show you how to build a semantic search application with MongoDB and Quarkus using vector search. Follow along with Luce and learn how to increase developer productivity by automatically generating c -sharp model classes including MongoDB driver attributes, for documents in a collection the extension is connected to. Lastly, check out the replays of some of our more recent live streams. Aporva talked about how to improve your LLM applications using parent document retrieval. And Pavel went live to discuss real-time voice agents with OpenAI and MongoDB. We always have live streams planned in advance and you can click on notify me so that YouTube will send you a reminder whenever we go live. Again, you can find all of this content on YouTube, Dev, and Medium. If you like what you see, be sure to engage with us and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you and we always look forward to your feedback. That's all for today. See you next time.